Hi there. I know I'm going to get questions about this dress in the comments, so I'm just going to address it here. No, this is not a real Selkie. It is a dupe. Yes, I did receive a dupe from a company and I reviewed said dupes in a video that I'm going to put in the cards. If you would like context, go watch that video. But I'm wearing it to utilize the resource and all that, but I don't have to explain myself to you, so we're just going to move right on. So I was going to do a part two of the styling my thrifted items plus a haul video like I did in my other video, but it ended up being a little bit of a mess for my previous video and it took me super long to get it out. So I'm gonna be separating the two videos and just do a haul and then just do a styling part two just to make it a little bit easier for my future self and my editing self because I ended up being super behind on that video and the things I hauled there ended up being a long time ago and I hauled other things and it's, it's, a, it's a whole mess because I'm still trying to figure this freaking YouTube thing out. So today we're just gonna do a haul of things that I have thrifted lately and then later down the line, maybe when I get back from my work trip, we're going to actually put some things on the wall and I'm going to show that off for you guys. I've also restyled certain things that I showed in that video since then, which I showed a couple updates in my previous video, but I can only do so much. So next video, we're going to be restyled. I'm going to show you the process of restyling this and we're also going to go in the living room. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. But in the meantime, Let's haul some stuff, man, because I am a thrift addict. It's fine. I'm, I'm getting all this stuff for my house. My house looks really cool. So someday we'll, we will have a full house tour. Maybe we'll go room by room. I don't know. Who, who knows? Who knows? Didn't I say we're going to haul some stuff? Yeah, let's do that. So this is a more recent find, but um, we're just going to go out of order because it's going to be a chaotic day. And this was the first thing within reach. But I got this really cool drinking mug at Goodwill the other day. And it has like a a cool little ship and anchor. It's very nautical. And I specifically got this for my husband because he loves stuff like this. In fact, I sent him a picture first before I bought it and he was like, yes, please. He will drink his coffee out of this and be very happy. He loves like nautical and Viking and all that stuff, Norse mythology, pirates. It's very much his vibe. So this is gonna be very, very nice for him and it's big and he drinks a lot of very strong coffee. So it's just gonna get a lot of use at our house. And on the same trip we were actually just about to check out and I saw this really cute set of Bambi I think it's Bambi or just deer Disney-ish looking deer um, bookends they're porcelain or ceramic I don't know stuff it's very dirty and I'm kind of getting grossed out holding it so right after I film this I'm going to be cleaning this very very well and I believe I might try to style this in my living room because I have a baker's rack bookcase that I'm going to be completely restyling which will be in the styling video to come. I also got this little mushroom dude which I've seen at other stores before and because I have another little mushroom dude that Rachel from Butterfly, Butter, Butterfly Thrift Dreams I think is her name I'll correct myself and I think it goes really well with it in fact let me show you that and I'm actually going to show you guys things that she gave me even though I already did an unboxing on TikTok but a lot of y'all don't go on TikTok so this is going to be new to you. This is the one that she gave me. As you can see they go very nicely together. We got the tall boy and the short boy and they will live very very well together. Next on Saturday I went to a little brunch with Sarah Jones, which you guys see on my channel quite a bit, as well as Phoebe and Talia, which I'm gonna put their ads right here. They're local content creators in the Sacramento area. So after I met up with them, I was still waiting for my ride. So I popped over to the Goodwill Boutique and I found this cute Zara purse. Sorry, my, my chair is like broken. So it's got the dark tapestry and then there's like little bugs on here. And it's really cool the way you open it. I don't know, I think it's cool. I don't know if you saw that. And the strap is a little jacked, but I'm thinking that I can just replace the strap because it's the kind that you can take off. And I always have extra straps because Echo Susie keeps sending me bags, which are convertible. You can like take straps off and add straps. So I have extras, which by the way, if you guys want an Echo Susie bag, my code is gonna be right here. And then as far as clothing goes, Sarah actually found this for me. Again, she's my personal shopper. It's this mauve pink corduroy skirt, has pockets. And again, I have no idea if this fits. I think I said this in my previous video. I haven't tried any of this stuff on. I've been super busy, but I'm probably gonna insert a clip of me trying it on. So there's that. And then there's a sweater vest. I don't know this brand, but it's really soft and kind of thin, which I prefer. I realized after buying it that I already own a green sweater vest, but I'm not mad at it because that one's super thick and kind of itchy. But this one is like a little bit, well, not a little bit, it's a lot thinner. And I think I'll get more use out of this one because I'll be able to tuck it a little bit 
more easily since it's thin. And also it's a little bit lighter because the other one is very deep, dark green. And in some lights it appears black, but I prefer a little more green. Last thing at this store is probably the best thing I've found in a long time. As you guys may know, if you've watched all my videos or are familiar with my TikTok, I am obsessed with little houses, hobbits, and fairies and all that stuff. And I found this. It's a freaking little hobbity fairy house covered in fake moss. It's got some spots on it, like up there, but I'm gonna be putting this up on my bookshelf where my other little houses sit or maybe on top of my china cabinet in my kitchen where I have a little teapot house tea light thing, which I used in my mod cloth photo shoot, which I'll insert a pic here. So another little house and this one has the round door because I have a little hobbit door up there, which you guys might've seen in another video. If not, here's a pic. Anywho, I'm really excited for this. This was like, if I could buy any, only one thing from this store, it would have been this, this for sure. And then after we went, so my husband came and picked me up. We were gonna go straight to a wedding shower party thing. Like, bar, not, not a barbecue, there was no food. It was just treats, but we were a bit early. So we popped over to some more thrift stores. My husband was so sweet. He doesn't usually suggest we go thrifting, but when he does, I'm so excited. So I didn't really get that much there, but I did get three books. This store has been like coming through with the antique -y vintage books. These are Charles Dickens books. Volumes is from a set, but they didn't have the other ones. I don't know. I'm such a fake fan. I don't know these. No clue. Um, and I, a lot of times I prefer to know what's in a book. You, some of you guys will know that. I, I don't like just buying a books purely for aesthetics. I like to know what the title is or know like generally what the story is. I may not have had to have read it, but I need to know enough, you know? But I've broken my rules a few times already, so I bought these. And Charles Dickens seemed pretty safe, but then again, I don't know that much about Charles Dickens. Besides, I have great expectations on my bookshelf, which I've never read. Big fan! I have, however, yeah. I have, however, read this book when I was very, very young. My mom, it was one of the books my mom read us. And I know there's a movie with a kid from Tool Time. Possibly. Where's that? I'm probably super wrong about that. Go ahead and roast me in the comments if I'm wrong because that really helps feed the algorithm the more comments I get. So by all means, tell me how tell me how dumb I am in the in the comments. I really don't care anymore. <laughs> but it is Mark Twain Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, if it'll focus. And I loved the green, I love the gold, super shiny. I love the details. It's just super cool and it's $3.99 in very, very good condition. It's also illustrated, which I love this sketchy style of illustration. So, and I'm pretty sure when I was a kid we had, not this one, but it was a red cover one of Huckleberry Finn. That's the one where they paint the fence, right? That's the one I'm thinking of. I'm gonna Google it after this. Oh, and there was one other thing that I got at Goodwill where I got the Bambi thing that I forgot, but I'm staring at it, it's on my desk. So let me go get that. Actually two things. First of all, I got this dark academia, slightly nautical set of bookends. Pretty much at every angle, it's really cool. I actually recently also found another set of bookends that are books, but I'm actually selling those on my Thrift Me Up Scotty account on Instagram, which by the way, I'm selling vintage finds on my on Instagram. I'm gonna link that below. Go check that out. But I'm probably gonna keep this one because I like that there's a globe. It's not my third, this isn't a real globe though. But you, if you see my other hauls, you know I got, I got a globe before, but really, really cool. I love the details of this one a lot more than the other set of book bookends. And these are also heavier, so I feel like they do more of a good job of keeping books up. So I just don't want things to topple over and fall. Next, I found this, which I already put my pins on it. It's like a pin board. And I had previously made another pin board. I took some cork and covered it in fabric and put it in a frame, just one of my leftover frames. And I ended up hating it. I didn't like how it looked, but I really love this one. It's already made. There's no cork, it's like plush. My pins stay in it pretty well. And I was gonna change out the fabric, but I actually don't mind it that much. This is originally from TJ Maxx. Did something just fall? Uh, I guess my foot will find out later. So let me show you some of the things that Rachel sent to me. I'm probably gonna get, a, I'm probably going to forget a few things because I've already kind of styled a few of the items. But first I'm gonna show you guys this crystal candy dish that she sent me that's shaped like a butterfly. Her and I are both obsessed with butterflies. And it was really cool because we both like a lot of the same things. So doing a thrift swap was super easy for us. I'm gonna link to both of our videos in the description. Um, so you can see what I sent her and then a little bit more of a detailed 
shot of what she gave me because I'm opening the box and reacting in that video, but I'll just, you know, just for those that are against TikTok, here are some of the highlights, a little dark academia bust. And then I don't know if these all go together, but they are gonna go together on my wall. And a lot of these are gonna go on my wall in my living room. We've got some brassy, goldy, metallic things. And then there's a hummingbird. This one's plastic, but it's painted, but it looks super good. This looks like it's from the 70s. Next, I gasped when I saw this. It is a mushroom plaque. Also, there's a butterfly. Mushroom, botanical, and butterfly. Oh, look at this. Yes, this is so cool. Parts of it are plastic. And then the top is wood, which is actually really good because it's not going to be super duper heavy on the wall, which means it's less likely to go toppling down. I might repaint it because it's kind of cheesy gold paint, but as some of you will know, I like to paint things with regard to cosplay and making them look like real metal. So this will be a nice little challenge for me to paint it. I'm probably gonna go over it with black first and then use gold rub and buff to give it like a weathered effect so that all the black will stick in the edges. It's like my favorite thing to do. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. And that's also gonna go on that wall with all those other little bits or somewhere in my living room because I'm running out of wall space in my in my office. One of the times that I went thrifting with my friend for her wedding, we also got this little purse, which I'm gonna be using as my purse at her wedding. And she got a beautiful beaded purse at that same store. It's at our favorite thrift store, well, my favorite thrift store, Fabulous Finds on Fulton. The Assistance League, so cute in there. Like they curate it really well. And the ladies that run it are so freaking nice. Um, every time we go, I just wanna stand there and chat with them and gossip with them. In fact, we kind of did a little bit of that when we were buying the purse. Next, I can't remember when I got these, but I've had them for a little bit. I know I haven't shown them, but I found these really cool frames. So the both sides are glass and then you hang it. And I added the butterflies. I might end up putting something else in here like photographs, but I just wanted to put something in here so I can kind of get the potential. And I have these butterflies left over from my fairy mirror project that I'm still working on. And then, oh, this one got a little, oh! Okay, crisis averted. Got a little messed up and I fixed it. And also I need to make sure these stay because I don't need, need this falling open in the middle of the night and then falling off the wall and crashing and scaring the bejesus out of me. But this, I thought these were really cool and I've always wanted these, but they're so expensive buying brand new. And I got these for, I think two something each. There's a price tag on here that says $4.49, but I remember distinctly that this one had two price tags on it. One for, I already took it off this one, but one for $2.49 and one for $4.49 and then this one only had the price tag for $2.49. And at first I went up there asking why the same exact items were different prices, but then we found the other price tag and I got them to honor the $2.49. So next, you guys have already seen this frame, but what I'm hauling isn't the frame, but actually the artwork inside it. If you remember that this used to have like boats in it or a boat, sailboat, and I told you I wasn't in love with the artwork and that I was probably gonna use it for me and my husband's gra um, not graduation anniversary pictures. But then later in another haul, I found a bigger frame that was more extravagant and that is the one that I'm gonna be putting our anniversary picture in and that's gonna go on his dresser. It's currently there now, just waiting for the picture. But I found this really cute fairy print. It was in a different frame and I wasn't in love with the frame. It was just like dark green, just basic frame. I did a poll on Instagram and asked what frame I should use because I had a few other this size and the matting was already in here. It's like very well framed. So everyone voted for the gold and I actually really love how it looks. So this will possibly go in either the living room if there's room for it or in our bedroom if there's room for it, we'll see. You know what, maybe I'll just put this up in the living room and put everything around it. I kind of just roll with it, you know, wing it. And then these two frames are not very interesting because I previously hauled some, like one just like it, but I found more basic square frames, but it has the, the scrolling detail, which I really like. It kind of helps break things up a bit. Like there's a lot of ornate frames, but then to put these kind of in between to kind of make it a little bit more base, you know, just to balance it out, but it still has that detail that pulls it together. You know what I mean? And then I'm pretty sure I have hauled these frames already, but I wanted to show you guys 
as an update. This print was in another frame that I had, but it fell and it broke. So I wanted to repurpose it and take it out of the mat and stick it in something that fits. So I put the poppies in this frame. I just need to repaint this gold and then it'll everything will go together. And I didn't want to get rid of this artwork after it fell because it's poppies and my dog's name is Poppy. So she needs a little representation on the wall, if not copious amounts of photographs, you know, dog mom things. And then this was a fun little DIY. This was another frame that I'm pretty sure I hauled at some point, but I, I did a little fun thing with it. I made it, I put another piece of glass behind it from another frame that I was just throwing away and it happened to be the right size. The backing on this one was broken as well. So I hot glued it together and I put this this little artwork thingy majigger. I don't know if it's a print. I think it's a print, but it's, it's pretty old. Um, I actually got this from, I think a box of stuff that came from my great grandmother quite a few years ago. And I ended up finding this amongst some other really cool, like little knickknacky and art things in a Rubbermaid box filled with stuff from my childhood. So I took some things out that I thought I could use in my decor and kind of like honor my great grandmother that I'd never met. Or it was a great, great grandmother or grandma. I don't know. I have to ask my mom, but she really liked windmills. I just remember that. And so I have a few things and tulips. So I have a little tulip thing up and then there's another thing. I think it's from the same grandmother. I don't um, yeah, so I thought this was really cool because I didn't have a frame that fit this, but it's like classic, but interesting. The only problem is the little hangy thing is on the sides, but that's pretty easy to just take the screws out and move it up here. Okay, I think this is the last of it. Honestly, I don't know because this is like kind of accumulation of over the past few weeks, if not months since I made my last haul video, cause I kind of like pick things up here and there. But when I went to the Earth Day event at Goodwill, cause I was on TV, Good Day Sacramento, Thank you, Phoebe. Um, we did a little bit of shopping because we got some gift card. We got a gift card each um, for being on the show. And um, I found a book. We have The Adventures of Robin Hood. Got this beautiful detailing. You know me, brown and gold and green, the theme. And it's also, I believe it's illustrated. Yeah, pretty. I did get some clothes as well as this. However, they are in the laundry currently. I got a really pretty corduroy green skirt similar to that mauve one that um, Sarah picked up for me when we were waiting for our rides. And there was a really pretty sweetheart neckline. Oh, you know, I think I have a picture. I'll put it up. The two together match made in heaven. I also got a baby blue um, silk camisole with like white lace on it. Very beautiful. Um, and I'm, I've been getting into like silk camis and slips lately. So I was really happy to find that. Fits me perfect. Love it. So that, that's pretty much everything I've found lately. Um, like I said, keep your eyes out for my styling video because I'm going to start styling everything. I'm going to be kind of rearranging my office a little bit and taking some things down, putting things up. That's going to be a, probably a future, future video. I think for somebody focusing on my my living room so I can get this crap out of my office. Getting my living room looking amazing. Again, I'm gonna be selling some things from my personal collection as well as things that I find at thrift stores that I don't necessarily wanna keep on my Thrift Me Up Scotty account on Instagram. So go check that out. If you want to buy anything, all the like how you shop is listed in my highlights. Go ahead and follow my socials. TikTok, Instagram, all that. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I really appreciate you guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I'm a thrift addict, but I hope you're, I hope you're enjoying this. I don't know how to end this one. I'm sorry. Bye.